What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Undertale! Last one, we made it to Hotland, and we defeated Undyne, kind of. Well, she kind of defeated herself. Um, we could also... Oh, look at this! Um... Pepperus! <laughs> I told you I had to look, yeah. Uh, he, he told us to meet us here. I actually forgot about this, but I checked my notes right before this episode, and it pretty much told me that, yeah, once... once this whole undying situation happens, you can actually go, come here. So, what, what, what? It's a living. I don't understand what this is. Can I push it or something? No. That's so weird. Oh, -ho, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with undying? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Let you hang out. Yeah, why not? Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves this. Interesting. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one on one training? You bet I am! And I brought a friend! <laughs> Hi, I don't think we've. Why don't you two come in? Oh god. Did I. I didn't even pick it up because I don't even have enough room in my inventory. That's awkward. Here, Undyne! My friend brought a gift for you! On their own! Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, you ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered I have to go to the bathroom! You two have fun! <laughs> oh my god, it's amazing! So, why are you here? Do you have your victory in my face? To humiliate me even farther? Is that it? No. no. Why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Never! With you, yes. Really? How delightful! I accept! Wow, that face. That's all a frolic in the fields of friendship. Not! How would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't in my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Diane could be friends with you. But I guess... I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. Thinks I just can't be friends with you? ha <laughs> ha what a joke. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be... Besties! I'll make you like me so much! You won't be able to think of anyone else! <laughs> it's the perfect revenge! Why don't you have a seat? Um... can't believe you've leapt through the window like that. No, he, he nails the landing. <laughs> One time, Alfie's, uh, friends came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano. And he, and he fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. <laughs> but I admire his lifestyle. Do I see my room? Too bad, no nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. This sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. Summon is some top of wine, empty tea thing. Do I have any fish? Has a fish been an item I can buy in this game? I feel like it is, but I have no idea where. But you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. So still the door has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. Lol. Hey, cold food. So Elfie's fixed up the fridge, so he's- Who's this Elfie's guy? Have you met him? I don't think we have. Hot fridge. The world's greatest invention. Ha! <laughs> Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? It's false. Pfft, you liar. I've read Alfie's human history book collection. I know about all your giant swords. Your colossal alien fighting robots. Your supernatural princesses. Heh, <laughs> there's no way you're gonna fool me. It's so nice to have you over. I'm so <gasps> I could bring her a fish! That fishing rod in freaking the village! Sit down and... Sit down and progress? Yeah, why not? Comfortable? I'll let you get something to drink. She reminds me of Marceline from uh, Adventure Time. 
All set. What would you like? Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just play what you want? You could use the spear. <laughs> Soda, sickly old liquid. Hot chocolate, green hmm. tea box. Apparently, correctly choice. Select with E. I die and select with E. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna want to do it. No, that ruined the pacifist run though. Sugar goes in tea. Soda, sickly old liquid. Oh, well, it's called it sickly, so it probably doesn't want it. Let's go with tea. Tea, huh? Coming right up. I'm not falling for your tricks game. I'm not gonna throw the spear at her as much as I want to. As hilarious as it would probably be, it'll take a moment for the water to boil. Do 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 do. <laughs> okay, it's all done. She reminds me of Marceline so much. It's it's weird. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. This is weird. It's not that hot. Just drink it already. Take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. <laughs> hey. No, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, it kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies! Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, once to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis is untried. I kind of land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I, never had, uh, I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. Now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Pepperus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I could ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. So, um, don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's just not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He grew up into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he could do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Pepperus, his cooking lesson. You're supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! Oh god. That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking! Which means that if I give you his lesson, you'll become closer than you could ever imagine! Wahahaha! <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends! Oh my god. <laughs> Let's start with the sauce. <laughs> Vision these vegetables is the, is your greatest enemy. Now pound them to dust with your fists! How do you pound? Strong, Flippy. <laughs> Put the vegetables in an affectionate manner. Oh my god, stop petting the enemy! I cannot ruin the pacifist run, I cannot! I'm not falling for these tricks, I'll show you how it's done. Oh my god, it's amazing. Uh, we'll just scrap into this bowl later. But for now... We have the noodles! Homemade noodles are the best! I just buy the store brand! Ah, <laughs> yeah! Ah, uh, just put them in the pot. How do you put them in? Fiercely, carefully. Place the noodles in one at a time. <laughs> they click against the empty bottom. Nice! Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. The general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is! Ready? Let's do it! 
Let's go! Stir harder! I'm stirring! Harder! I'm stirring! Harder! I'm stirring! Ah, uh, let me do it. <laughs> That's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn off the heat! Let the stuff stop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right to turn off the heat. Oh my god. Go! Hotter! <laughs> Hotter, damn it! Hotter! Wait, that's too... Uh oh. I should have brought her a fish. Oh, there's her house burned down. Oh no. Uh oh. Ah, man, no wonder Pepper sucks at cooking. Well, I could go get more water if you want. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. Or if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regrets. What? I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I have failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. You want a final rematch? All on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Yeah. Let me do the first attack. I'm dying. Check. This time, don't hold back anything. Show me what you got. This fake attack? You pretend to swing on dying with all your might. Hopefully that didn't ruin my pacifist run. <gasps> what? What? That's the best thing. <gasps> Did I just ruin it? I gotta restart. Again! <sighs> You're attacking at full force. You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Heh. <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid... Saccharine shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that Asgore, you and Asgore are fated to fight, but knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if... You do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Well, that's cool. I don't know if I ruined the... What, 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 what? It's a living. Sounds like the only fire lives here now. <laughs> oh, it's crying. Oh, no. I'm sorry, house. I don't know if I should restart or not. Person undying. Sounds like you're nearly undying. You're near undying's house. Hey, we should go visit undying. Right here. I love when a plant comes together. <laughs> Um, slow bird, you know, no, no. Actually, let's see what happens. I've, yeah. Whee! Oh my god, this is amazing. I regret nothing. Go, little bird, go! I'm really distraught. Hopefully I didn't ruin the, I probably did. It said fake attack, though. But I hit her. I still hit her. That's the tor- it, it lied to me! The text lied to me! That duck is so happy. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? I'm thinking about getting into the- oh, okay. Surprised you he was here. I thought maybe someone could come with this, but I guess not. Is there anything else up here now? Magic gloves have been- oh, okay. You guys not here anymore, how sad. So many sad. Um, all right, I wanna go get that, check out the fishing rod, cause you know what? 
I know there's gonna be a fish on the end of that line, and I'm gonna be able to give it to Undyne. And she's gonna love me, and we're gonna become real besties. It's gonna be fantastic, I can't wait to do it. Come on, bird. I don't have time for this. I must go save a fish. Yay. Should I save it? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I guess so. I mean, gotta live with the consequences, I guess. Yeah, that's right in the boat. Where do we want to go? Snowden! Then we're off. I'm so happy for this quick travel, finally. I'm also very happy this isn't like a, uh, um, once you get, go to a certain part of the game, you can never go back. That's what I thought it was going to be until I got the hotline over here. <gasps> I guess it's, well, I guess, I mean, we can't go back to the ruins. I really miss Goat Mom. I kind of feel like either she's going to be like the king, quote unquote. I mean, I guess she wouldn't really be a king, but, you know. Just got that feeling. Where is this fishing rod? I know it's somewhere around here. I'm pretty sure it's before the village because I remember seeing the fishing rod before talking to the guy. Let's just go around here. Do 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 do. Welcome to Snowden. You're a Snowden. Get it? Cause this place is Snowden. Ha 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 ha. I don't know. I think it's this way. This first section of the game is pretty long. <coughs> World is really cool. Hey, who's this guy? We all live in the woods, so no one can tell us what to do. But everyone ignores us. I don't want freedom if it means no one's gonna pay attention to me. Let's be on the inside. Woof. Where's this fishing rod? Hey, all these guys are just hanging out now. I there's a local tradition based off of my own suffering. Yeah, you, you still look pretty freaking terrifying, man. <laughs> um, is it back? Is it farther back? I didn't think it was. I wonder if it's like a loading screen or something. Hmm. Look familiar? It's at Grillby's, I think. After work, all the dogs go there to play cards together, but that dog is really not how to express himself, so it ends up playing alone instead of introducing itself to others. What is this? Seems like the base of the snow. Dog. Ah! We made an artist, knowing the dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog. It fills you with determination. Guess we saved it. There's no going back now, you guys. This is all messed up. Oh, the control panel's gone, too. I really don't think it's this far back, but, uh... What the heck? Heh. Us teens live self-sufficiently off the fat of the land. Oh, and the box lun lunches my parents bring us every day. Hmm, okay, I really don't think this fishing rod's this far back. I guess I'll be right back because I continue looking for this thing. Is it up here? It might be up here. Alright, be right back. Hey, stop thinking about my hat! You wanna think about my hat? Can you, please? No. Gah, us teens rule these woods were smaller than adult fists. <laughs> Even when he fell trapped, he took notes and achieved the end of the ball. You were awarded two golds. Oh, cool. So I came back and played golf here. This feel like has nothing else to offer. Well, he just gave me two gold for doing it again. I don't really know why. Oh, can I keep doing it? There's a money grind. These freaking sprites are very creepy, by the way. Just thought I would mention. Also, I think the snowball's getting bigger, question mark? I'm not really too sure. So for some reason, this is much more difficult doing it again. Than initially was. There we go. Let's see. Okay, so it just does the same thing over. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Run away from home. Why? Because my father was so cold to me. What is a joke? Laugh at it. Oh, here we go. Wow, this really is pretty far back. It's a fishing rod fixated to the ground. Reel it in. Yes. It's a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me as- Aw, oh, there's no fish! Dang it! I thought for sure there would be a fish here! Aw, oh, man. I thought for sure I'd be able to get a fish there. I'd be able to go get Undyne's attention and we'd become best friends. Oh yeah, the lamp. Alright. Well, I guess I'll call an episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching! 
If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like and subscribing to be found already. On the next episode, uh, we'll go talk, we'll go see, um, we'll go back to, uh, blah, 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 I keep forgetting his name, Peppers' house. Just see what's going on there, and then we'll head back to Hotland, and then we'll really progress the plot for once. This is gonna take a take a very long time to walk all the way back, but whatever. Take you guys later. Bye.